Hey, hello again everyone. Tuesday, March 5th. And we're in Dingalan. Spring I met away. <laughs> so what's the scoop today? Um, Grace, Mommy. Mommy went uh, back to Palayan this morning, early this morning, to get the paperwork. So she said when she got there, it was all ready. She didn't have to wait around. She just had to pay and uh, be on her way. So that was good. Didn't take her too long. She had a couple little other errands to do. Like she had to load her TV. Her TV's due. As uh, I've explained to you guys before, we have satellite TV. And every month... They have to load it with uh, the plan you want. Uh, we get the best plan with the most channels, which is a thousand pesos, twenty bucks. So it's due once a month. So uh, she didn't have any any signal this morning, so we had to do that. So another thousand. <laughs> And then she, uh, she picked up a couple items. I think she bought some more fish to cook. But, uh, uh Catherine, morning class again. No afternoon class for some reason. So, both kids are taking a nap right now. Uh, I made some spaghetti while uh, everybody was gone. While Catherine was in school and Mommy was gone. Actually, uh, James stayed here with me. He just stayed here and uh, watched cell phone. He's happy doing that. If he's doing that, he's like uh, the best kid in the world. <laughs> no issues, no problems. <laughs> so, uh, they're both taking a nap right now. And the caretakers are just uh, resting and relaxing also with Patch. Um, and mommy, what is she doing? Uh, of course, playing cards. She'll be over there the rest of the afternoon. Then when the kids wake up from their nap, they'll go over there also. Because they're always asking, where's mommy, where's mommy? I don't know what they do over there while she's playing cards, but... Uh, she's only right next door. Anyway, that's what they do when they have nothing else to do. Ah, that's it, though. That's all that's going on. Um, I'm just taking it easy. I'm not doing nothing. Just watching some TV that that's really no good. <laughs> whatever, I can, whatever I can find that's partially interesting. Uh, no bites on my truck yet. I, I did advertise, but n no bites. I got the, uh, the word out on several sites. And also with, uh, some friends that do buy and sell things. But, uh, no luck yet. I don't know. We'll see. It's hard to find somebody that has that much cash on hand. Um, most people here, when they buy trucks and cars and motorcycles, even small stuff like 125s that don't cost much, everybody finances here. It's uh, it's just a fact. People don't have a lot of cash on hand, uh, but some people do have jobs so they can make the payments. But sometimes it's the only way they can do it. And, uh, of course, the finance companies love that because they make money. Uh, there's some places that, that sell brand new motorcycles and things like that, brand new uh, dealers, that they won't even take cash. If you have cash, they, they don't want it. They want you to finance because, uh, obviously, that's how they make money. I've heard stories. I haven't uh, had that happen to me, but I've heard stories where people have gone in to buy something 
like other expats, friends uh, that I know, going in to buy something. It said they want to pay cash, and they said, no, we can't do it. You have to finance it. Can you believe that? They won't take the amount. They won't take the full amount. But there are other places that uh, if you pay cash, they'll even give you a little bit of a discount. Especially the, uh, like the appliance stores and the malls and stuff. Uh, they'll take cash. No doubt. And uh, sometimes it'll even say cash price and uh, credit price. Be two different prices. It can sometimes save like, you know, maybe even a couple thousand pesos sometimes paying cash. You just have to look around and find the right place. I keep looking over here because I'm expecting the delivery from Lazada. Uh, I ordered a car cover for her car because right now it's partially the back end is kind of in the sun a little bit because I got my truck pulled in all the way uh, as far as I can get it so when I open the door it doesn't hit the post so it's not in all the way uh, so I wanted to get a car cover for her car so it's not in the sun especially when I get all the work done to it that I want to do the paint work and uh, the buffing out I found one spot of service rust on it already too it needs to be fixed before it gets worse and then uh, the, the uh, brake rotor that needs to be fixed and change the oil so we're gonna do all that probably Easter break when Catherine doesn't have any school I think that starts uh, around the 25th we'll probably make a trip over to Cabana to one and maybe spend spend some time over there because Easter around here is gonna be crazy it's gonna be noisy so possibility we'll, we'll just get out of here for a little bit uh, might be a good idea just leave the caretakers, tell them don't let anybody up here. Close the gate. Don't let people in and out. So that might be a plan. Um, so we can get some things done over there. Uh, and if I haven't sold my truck yet, maybe we'll just take that. I don't know, instead of taking the bus. I haven't decided yet. Because I do need to drive it a little bit. I don't want it just sitting, sitting. Even though it's totally clean. And I have the car cover on it. Uh, but it, it does need to be driven. It's not really good to have stuff sitting too long. A little while is okay. But, you know, I don't want it sitting for months. It's already been sitting for 9, 10 months already. <laughs> Being broken. Now that it's working, I need to use it a little bit. Uh, also, our nephew Adam, one of his daughters, is turning 16 this month, her birthday. And I think he's doing a big Sweet 16 party. But I don't have the details yet. It might be at his uh, house in Quezon City, Manila. I don't know if it's going to be there or here in Gabaldon. If it's in Gabaldon, it's no problem. Uh, we'll probably attend. But uh, if it's in Quezon City, I don't know if I want to drive that far uh, just to attend that. Uh, we'll see. I'm not sure. Maybe he's renting out a place. Um, I don't think we'll have it. Just at his house. Most likely. They, uh, they go all out when they have parties and stuff. They go all out. So, chances are he's going to rent a place out. Um, maybe a resort or something. Who knows? He'll figure it out. We'll, we'll find out. I sent a message to him. But, uh, I haven't heard back. Uh, I think this is my delivery. I don't know, I hear Patch barking. Let me see. Oh, 
Okay, wait. Yep, it's my delivery, folks, so uh, hang on. I'm here, I'm here. Delivery. Five something, right? Five fifty? Yeah. Okay, wait. Thank you, sir. Up oh, there it is. That's what I was waiting for. Uh, well, I guess I might as well show you guys opening the package. Hard to open it with one hand, though. Hang on. Okay, I had to put the camera down because I couldn't open it with one hand, but this is the cover. So I'm going to wait till we wash her car to try it on because her car is real dirty from her trip. I don't know what this purple thing is. I have no idea. It came in the package. It's a cover for something, but what? I don't know. Maybe a toaster. <laughs> and then it comes with a little pouch. You can put it could put your cover back in there. That's what it came out of. So that's the deal. No instructions or anything saying what the purple thing is. And it's really not the color they showed me, which I don't really care. They showed that it was red and black. It's just tan and black. But it doesn't really matter what color it is. As long as it fits. So we'll try that on after uh, after we wash the car. Because right now it's muddy. You can see the mud on it. Because it was raining this morning when she left. I'm sure she went over the dirty muddy roads. So... That's it, folks. You got to see the delivery I was waiting for. Anyway, uh, maybe tomorrow we'll try it on. And uh, nothing else to really tell you. You just have to wait for the kids to wake up. Like I said, Mommy won't be back till probably close to dinner time. So, I might just go on the Kubo and swing, swing on my uh, hammock. And rest out there because there's really nothing on TV. So once again, thanks for watching, folks. It's always something around here. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe. It's free. And God bless everyone. Santa Claus. Over and out.